Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're going to talk about a really interesting release that is simpler than I thought it would be. You'll, you'll see at the end. This is the brand new Ilia Sea Beyond Triple Serum. SPF 40 mineral with vitamin C and niacinamide. Uh, this is, oh boy, this is all we're seeing lately, isn't it? This kind of, we, st we started to see hybrid skincare makeup, you know, seasons and seasons ago, but now we're seeing kind of their skincare first and have makeup quality second rather than the other way around. And this one kind of builds itself as a little bit of both. Uh, stay to the end, I, I do have an opinion on that. I think it's more skincare than makeup but I will tell you it is an absolutely beautiful product. So let's talk all about it. Okay, so the new Ilia C Beyond Triple Serum is indeed a triple dose serum. This is a great morning routine, and I say morning rather than night because it also adds in SPF. This product is a great way to get in your vitamin C, niacinamide, and your mineral sunscreen in one step but let's talk about how that would work. Okay, this is a water-free, stabilized formula that disappears into the skin and gives a sheer glow without a white cast. It is an all-mineral sunscreen, so many of us will rejoice for that, but mineral sunscreen is a great thing because what it does is it blocks the rays from the skin, but the problem with a mineral sunscreen, people often complain of a white or grayish cast that makes the face look pale no matter your skin tone. What this new Ilia product does to avoid the white cast is something we see in our in the Wander Beauty SPF that I looked at and the Tatcha SPF that I looked at, and that is it gives it a little bit of a shade choice. This comes in three shades. I picked up Tone 1, which is for light to medium skin. Tone 2 does medium to medium deep, and Tone 3 does deep to extra deep. So you have three shades to choose from. And I do ask the question in the demo, should I have gone a shade deeper? This one is pretty much becomes translucent when it hits my skin, should I have gone a shade deeper to make it more makeup-y? Or is there a point in that? I don't quite know. All right, so that, but the shade that it adds in is less for makeup properties, please know, and more for taking away the white cast that a mineral, mineral sunscreen can cause. What I am wearing now, let me just give you a sneak peek. I was having a fairly okay skin day anyway. So I have put this on and added some concealer on. Uh, nothing you couldn't do with skincare on a good skin day anyway. But this can be worn alone or can be worn as a base under a, you know, a skin tint or even a regular foundation. Is this enough? Will you actually get the SPF 40? You would have to put on a lot to get it. So let's talk about the application process of this. So basically here's the little container. Again, this is tone one. There's a metal ball in here, which I'll also show you in the demo, and you got to really shake it so you can hear that going. When you pull off the, straight off the top, it has a little spout here that actually has a little kind of a pump that you are going to pump and and face down. You need some gravity for this. And then I'll show you the product here on my palm, if the camera will pick that up. That is again the tone one. And let me just show it to you here rubbed into my hand first so you can see the difference. Let me just put it on my hand here and see the difference. Here is without, here is with. Let me flip the hand, without and with. It gives a nice little glow and a tinge of color. Again, we will talk in the demo, should I have gone a shade deeper? There is no scent whatsoever, maybe a slight skincare scent, but there's no, nothing added like a rose scent or vanilla or, or any sort of, you know, lavender or coconut. Um, and I also talk in the demo, if you're wondering, um, I will compare it to um, the, we looked at the Calorie the other day, just to add rays. Um, they are not the same at all, but I will address that in the demo in case you're wondering. So stay there for that. Basically, this is just Ilya getting on the train. We saw today, um, when I'm filming this today, we saw that Natasha Denona has released that, and I uh, released a video the other day talking about the Pat McGrath um, skincare that also has some makeup properties. Basically, you guys, these are all skincare items. I don't know the Natasha Denona quite yet, but they're really skincare that could work for makeup if you happen to be having a good skin day anyway, but we're going to get more into that in the demo, um, and in fact, let's go to the demo right now. All right, well, I'd like to give this a try, and my intention here is to wear it alone. 
So to basically kind of do a kind of no makeup look, I have a little bit of mascara on um, because it is the end of the day. Well, it's late afternoon. I'm gonna do a wear test of, I'm gonna try to do four or five hours wear test. I'll let you know uh, at the end here. And what I would like to do is try, if we can, to wear only this. Now I got, as you know, the tone one, and I don't know if that will be enough. We'll see. Let's just kind of try it, okay? So we'll pretend that it's morning. My skincare's worn off by now anyway. And first thing we wanna do is I'll cover it again and we'll shake it. And there's a little metal ball in here. So if I barely shake it, you don't hear that. You want to hear the click of the metal ball going around, okay? And we're just going to put it onto my hands. It's got this interesting little top here. And I am going to, um, you press it upside down and then you can kind of press on the little dispenser here. So here it comes. No scent whatsoever, really. Maybe a little bit of a kind of a skincare scent. And let's just put it on and see what we got here. That's very pretty. It doesn't have much of a shade to it at all. I'm kind of wondering if I should have gotten tone two to make it a tad bit, like this is almost completely translucent on my skin. Here it is here and nothing up here. And I don't have, some people have different skin uh, tones on their face. I am pretty, I'm the same. I'm pretty, the sa I'm pretty much the same throughout. So are you seeing any of a difference between my forehead and the rest of my face? Not really. Um, it's probably evening out my skin tone a little bit. Let's continue. First of all, you want to keep um, shaking up a product like this in between uses because it does settle down. Okay, so let's see. Is this like, you might say to me, the Calorie product that I tried the other day, which is kind of a... Uh, the Calorie Just Add Rays, no, not at all. The Just Add Rays is a, is a bronzing product that has some skincare properties in it, but it is definitely a makeup product first. And this is definitely a skincare product first, but you can just kind of wear it on your skin to just kind of even things out. All right, what do we think? I want to put some makeup on, and you'll see the makeup freshly applied over it in the intro, so you already saw that. And then I'm going to wear this for quite a few hours, and let's just see how my skin ends up looking at the end of the day. It's about, no, it's actually 3 o'clock right now. I'm finding a clock here. And um, let's see the next time you see me. Hopefully it'll be 8 or 9. We'll see how far we get. I went ahead and did a wear test anyway, reapplying my lipstick just for you guys so I didn't look too too pale. It is now nine o'clock at night, so we have had a little less than six hours wear test. Um, I applied makeup right afterwards, the makeup I'm still wearing now, not much of it. Um, you know, if we talk about how it looks around my nose and under my eyes like I normally would, we would be talking about the Say Concealer um, that I used, which actually has held up fine, but we love that product. Um, it really wouldn't be talking about the Ilia. Okay, um, I would love to test, and I really probably should, one shade darker. If I went one shade darker, could it kind of be truly no makeup makeup? As it is now, I think that this is an absolutely lovely product to put many skincare steps into one. And if you are interested in doing that, I think this definitely, definitely does it. Do I like it with just a little bit of concealer on it? I think I pulled this off pretty good. If I weren't having a good skin day, I would have had to put foundation on top. Like, frankly, no different than anything else out there. If you're having a good skin day now, you can do your skincare, put some concealer on and go, right? It's, it's no different than that. It's, to me, especially in the tone one that I got it in, if you get your own tone and not one darker, it is skincare, not makeup. Now, you're going to say, does it even out the skin tone? I think it does, and I think it's super pretty, and I didn't put a ton of it on, but I think it is definitely super, super pretty, and it does even out skin tone to the extent that any other niacinamide and SPF, you know, with a pretty glowy base would work for you. In that sense, it's not remarkable. What I think this product would be good for, if you, if you want to go a shade darker, we can talk about that. That's a different thing, of course. But uh, if we're talking just about it as skincare, I think the beauty in it isn't the beauty part of it. I think it's all about the fact that you can combine all of these steps in one, and if you put on enough, you'd get enough SPF. 
I would still put an SPF over. Look, I got to get over myself here. This kind of combined skincare into makeup is, is not going anywhere and it's taking over. And if you find yourself reluctant or slow to do a whole many step thing in the morning, this would be a great morning routine built into one. Would you still need some more SPF over the top? I probably, I don't know. It was pretty clear. I bet I could have loaded it on a whole heck of a lot more. Would you need to put makeup over it? Most of us would have to add foundation and some of us would even add a little more SPF depending on how much sun you get. But is this a great first step that combines kind of a three-in-one serum for those of you that find yourself lazy to use skincare? Absolutely. Do I, Would I recommend it? Absolutely. I will keep testing it. I think I might just test one shade darker and see if I can almost pull it off with a little bit more of a shade to it. This one is completely translucent though. So I see this much more as skincare. I think the reason the brand is saying making it makeup-y is because they can, just like any other skincare could, and because the skincare makeup hybrid is so hot right now. But to me, this is beautiful skincare but it's skincare, not makeup, but it's beautiful. Um, let me know if this is something, do you get a bit lazy with your serums? Let me know if this is something you would be interested in. I heard a lot of you drop me in DMs and told me you're kind of wondering about this. Um, to me, the tint is more to keep the mineral sunscreen from appearing white, more so than anything. It's like if we called the Tatcha sunscreen makeup. It's not, it's sunscreen, right? A little bit of color in it just helps it from the white cast. It, it, this is skincare. Tell me if it's something that you are interested in. I would love to know in comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I sure hope that you did. And if you haven't already done so, for goodness sake, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so that I don't miss any of you in an upcoming video. Bye-bye.